be your living room, satellite, bedroom, and cable jacks. Below there was just your fresh drain and a low point drain. We got our city water and our fresh water fill. Low here is just two low point drains. Right now the valves are set for summer use. And then this one's flowing in this direction going to the fresh tank. For winterization we would just flip everything the opposite way. That'd be winterization mode. We're bypassing the water heater. Put it back to summer for now. If you're in winterization, you put this hose in your jug of antifreeze. And then from the inside, you turn the pump on and it would start to siphon out of the antifreeze jug. This is just your hydraulic pump for your slide outs. You can kind of see the, the level in the reservoir. Keep an eye on that. Make sure that there isn't any oil in here from a leak. You can individually run a slide, otherwise it's valve of least resistance from the switch inside. There is a switch there if you wanted to run it from outside, but I would tell you to go on the inside to make sure there isn't any doors open or any debris in the way. Got an outside receptacle with the TV out. So if you were to put a TV outside, that's where you'd hook that up. Inside we have a bunch of little switches. These are the sensors for the zones for your thermostat. You have different zones. You have zone one, you have zone two. Inside of the zones, you can turn your modes on and off. So we'll shut off the air conditioner in zone two. That'll take about 10 seconds to, to shut off. This switch here is our 110 only for our ceiling fan. Here we've got our water pump, we got our tank heaters, just lighting. This is our awning, so if we wanted to bring the awning in, we just hit the switch. Bunch of ceiling lights. In here we've got the Max Air. If you're going to cook in the kitchen, and I would tell you to definitely turn that on. You don't have to stand on the countertop to raise and lower it. It's all done by that switch. Bedroom has a little cadet heater, space heater. Insignia should be a smart TV. Some storage there. Call this little toe pick spot where you can put your shoes inside that box we just put the toilet lid or the tank lid inside that little box uh, so your blinds you can kind of move them side to side if they move and travel got a USB outlet here there's a couple more on each side of the bed nice storage space back inside here you can see the water heater switch it's a 20 gallon electric water heater they've got a cradle point router Wi-Fi 
repeater. Use your owner's manual to figure out how to uh, repeat it. Then you get a nice little vacuum. There is an in motion switch, so you could do it either in motion or on all the time or off. Uh, one of the first things to do when you get the camper, you know, for the weekend when you're going to be there, is to turn your LP tanks on and then go over to one of the burners. Light it. Bleed the air out of the lines. And then you're able to use your range, your oven, your furnace. Microwave's just normal. Refrigerator, just a normal refrigerator. Uh, these shades it's suggested to pull directly in the middle or use two hands and one hand on each side evenly just to help pull it down better underneath here is your latch so then you can open up pantry nice storage inside here And you got the two air conditioners, so two different zones. There's also a max air fan in the loft room up there. Washer dryer prep. If you're gonna get a washer dryer, you definitely wanna vent it. It's kind of the location. I would still use a stud finder just to make sure that they put the sticker in the right location and you're not going right through one of the aluminum 16 inch on center studs. Fiberglass shower, surround. That's just your pan exhaust. This is the 2024 Cedar Creek 40 CBK. Basically a king bed. 